Another gun was fired today in America. This time it was a James. That joke wasn't that funny, might not have even elicited a smile from you, but comedy's tough. And you know what jokes typically don't land with the mainstream audience, let alone even the fringe audience? Pedophilia ones. It's Comic-Con time again, folks, which means we get to go on Twitter and check out all the new trailers for movies and comics and fire respected directors because of shit he said 10 years back. Just another, just another Comic-Con. If you haven't heard the scoop, James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, Slither, an older shit that nobody really cared about, got fired today. Well, actually it was yesterday, I believe. Maybe two days ago now. <laughs> Things are moving so fast, it's hard to keep up. He was fired via Twitter, because that's how people are fired now, for saying some inappropriate things 10 years ago on Twitter that he already apologized for six or seven years ago before he got the job on Guardians of the Galaxy. So either Disney didn't do any sort of homework as to the people they hire. I know my company likes to do a background check and things before they uh, hire me. Like, the, the first thing they say is, uh, do you touch little boys or girls? If you say yes, that's a hard pass. But he was hired, he, he did the two, two movies, and uh, full disclosure, I followed him on Twitter. I liked his pretty much daily rants on Trump, who I can't stand. Uh, if you're a Trump supporter, why? But also, that's fine, whatever. It's your life to live, make America great again, yada yada yada. I think he's a complete piece of shit. But I'm not here to bash on Trump today. Although that is pretty much why James Gunn was fired, ironically. Uh, for trying to take down a man who on Twitter daily is a troll to people. He was therefore taken down by a mega supporter via a blog post, which then kind of shot out to the rest of the world, bringing to light some of the things James Gunn said in the past. And the things he said in the past were just downright god-awful bad. Uh, he was clearly trying to be edgy and make jokes, and people are going to say, yeah, there's there's nothing edgy about pedophilia. I agree. It was, they're, they're terrible. They're, they're really stupid bad things. I'm a father of two myself. I'm also definitely more Democrat than Republican. I used to be in the middle more, but that's changed a lot since this last election. But I do share some of the old school Republican values. I think one of their things is the death penalty. I don't think Democrats support that. I, I don't know. But I do. And if I find out a neighbor or someone has been touching kids, or has even looked at my kids funny, I will take him all back and shoot him myself. I don't know James Gunn. I'm not going to die on this hill defending him. Uh, I have a lot of good friends out there that I would die for, but I don't know this guy. I just know what he says on a pretty much daily basis in interviews on Twitter, yada yada yada, and I've been following him for some time, and he's always seemed like a, a completely stand-up individual, really down to earth. He, he, he talks to his fans constantly. Uh, the actors he worked with have nothing but great things to say about him, and I've already seen his brother and some of the actors have come to his aid. It is a tough thing though, because you're Disney, you hire a guy who, who had this like sketchy past. He's made some really fucking dark films, and that does not reflect the person, okay? The guy who made um, Saw isn't going around cutting people's legs off, you know? He's, he's just creative. There's nothing creative about pedophilia, Adam. I know! I'm not saying there is. But he's trying to make it in Hollywood. He's trying to find, like, a niche. And he found a niche and he went all in on it. And that, that, that was not the way to go. He changed completely. His image was squeaky clean. He got that Disney varnish on him. <laughs> but that shit comes back. The past always comes back to haunt you. He made a movie called Super with Rain Wilson and Ellen Page. And Ellen, at one point, her character rapes Rain Wilson in the film. And by the end, she gets her head blown off. He actually wrote for a game called Lollipop Chainsaw, where you play as a hot blonde cheerleader who kills a bunch of zombies and carries a keychain holding the head of her dead boyfriend, the football player. Just, just another day at Disney, right? I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying that rape jokes and pedophilia jokes and yada 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 aren't funny. Ever. That's interesting. Do you find Family Guy funny? Do you find Always Sunny in Philadelphia funny? Maybe you don't. Maybe to your credit, that's that you're being honest, but uh, I find both of them funny. And in both of those shows, there's a creepy man who molests kids. And there's nothing funny about the action of that, yet somehow the shows manage to make it funny. 
Charlie Day has a, the creepy uncle who's constantly hitting on him and saying super disturbing stuff. Yet, the show does it in a way that I'm laughing, even though it's completely terrible. It's dark comedy. You have to take it in a context. You have to take it in the mindset the person's putting forth. Family Guy. You got the creepy old man who's hitting on Chris all the time. Just looking for the muscly arm paper boy. Hope he's coming to bring me some good news. So at best, James Gunn was a hack comedian on Twitter. At worst, he was carrying out his actions. I have yet to see a single shred of evidence that leads me to believe that he really is like that. And I took at least 15 minutes searching out the internet for it, which is about five times longer than the mob did when they lambasted him and called him a rapist and called him a pedophile and all the other good things that come along with that territory. I too have been called every name under the sun, a racist, homophobic, yada, 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 it doesn't matter. You just let that stuff bounce off. The difference is YouTube isn't firing me. In fact, I don't think YouTube really fires anybody. PewDiePie said some really shitty stuff over the years. Uh, so is that dumbass who filmed a guy hanging in the woods. I don't know if it was real or not, but regardless, it happened. He's still making millions of dollars. James Gunn, however, has basically had his career handed back to him. And he'll be lucky if he gets to direct any more movies. I don't know. I don't know what the, the whole fallout is of this, but it doesn't look good. And I think it's just, I think it's a total shame that this shit happens so much more frequently now. It, it's definitely not a, a fluke. This has happened many times over the years. People have also compared this to the Roseanne situation, which I, I, don't, I don't see it quite the same. She kept saying inappropriate crazy shit after her show started up again. So like the company approached Roseanne, they looked at her past history, they're like, okay, this woman's a bit nutty, she says some really extreme stuff, it's gonna piss people off, it's gonna shake the boat, but maybe we can rein her in a little bit, give her the show, tell her to calm down on Twitter. Well, they gave her the show, and she started saying even more crazy shit on Twitter. So they're like, okay, we, we have to stop. James Gunn, on the other hand, went cold turkey. He, he basically turned his image around, turned his life around, it sounds like, from some of the people that have spoken out on his behalf, and he himself has said the same. So we're just done with second chances. People were tweeting at me saying, you know what, it's the company's right to fire him. That's true. And I'm not going to knock Disney for it. I can totally see where they're coming from. You don't think, Disney, ah, director pedophile comedy. It just doesn't really work that well. However, once more, they kind of knew what they were getting, I would assume. They saw his backlog of movies. He did fucking Slither. That movie's creepy, it's crazy, it's awesome. There is just so much palpable irony, it's insane. James Gunn on Twitter, weekly bashing Trump, talking about how corrupt he is, how he's had multiple affairs, which, I mean, come on, it, it is like 100% obvious at this point that he's definitely cheated on his wife multiple times with multiple different women. That shit's all coming out. Uh, he's probably colluding or he's got business ties to a lot of different things it once again i'm not here to bash on trump i'm just saying that there's some some crazy irony going on the president on a daily basis almost says something shocking and inappropriate to a race of people or a culture of people and he has all these skeletons in his closet yet he's probably going to be president for another six years Meanwhile, a guy that's already apologized for shit that was already that already came to light for the most part and who was hired by a company that had to have known this is fired in one day. So that's my hot take, I guess. Should James Gunn have been fired? Uh, I wouldn't have fired him, but once again, I'm not the head of a giant successful company like Disney. I'm, they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's their company. It's their choice. Do I think uh, people should be calling him some of the worst names ever? No, I don't. Unless there's actual proof that he's this piece of shit, why? Like, why are we so quick to hang people? Let the let some research play out. Like, let do do even an, a day's worth of research. I mean, this guy was fired from like 8 a.m. This stuff came out. And he was fired within like six hours or something. Because everybody's just so. It, it, Twitter's like a coliseum. And people are just sitting there waiting for the next person to get thrown in. And then we release a tiger. And if the tiger doesn't finish him off or her off, we throw out something else. And, and pretty soon it's just an overwhelming amount of stuff and the person can't even speak their mind. 
It's a good thing we don't accuse women of being witches anymore. Twitter would just be a shit show. Anytime a woman talks on there. Witch! Killer, witch, burner, she disagreed with me. We've come so far, yet... Yet we haven't. 